Hey, Phil from Got Memories. Uh, it is early morning hours here and putting on mini DV tapes and digital eight, the worst of the worst. Um, these tapes are from 2006. Let's have a look, Christmas morning, and let's get the date off it. So um, yeah, just Christmas morning, 2012. Um, this is the, probably 30% of tapes of what I see nowadays. Um, and this is 2012, so this is pretty young for tape years. Um, shelf life, five years on this format. Five years before stuff goes downhill. Mini DV, Digital 8, they did not pit, like, cleared up there. Oh my goodness. Now it could be the tape, it could be the um, player, but I do not chance it because this can start to reappear 30 minutes in. 45 minutes in, and then you have to monitor this stuff like a hawk. No other way around transferring digital eight, mini DV, VHS, VHSC, all of these aging video formats need to have a monitor with a professional in front of it, monitoring for quality and audio spot checking. Once it's done, you're going back through the files, checking for quality, artifacts, audio drop, all these kind of things that need to be done if you want to get your stuff done correctly. Okay, if you are transferring videotapes out there, you need, well, a lot of people now are cluing in because I'm highlighting all of the systemic problems in this industry. I'm sick and tired of seeing it. 20 years doing this, I've had big business, loads of employees, all the mess, everything that comes with it and trying to manage people. And now since COVID, it's myself and Samantha here and we're just doing top notch quality work. We're like hell, we're, we're put, pumping the brakes and we uh, gotta charge more money because this stuff is degrading and I'm not competing with all of these crappy companies because they're giving you giving people back nothing back in return, zero. Put in, get, send 20 tapes off, you get 20 tapes back with stickers on them saying, yeah, they're too far gone, can't get a picture off of them. Because hiring minimum wage staff with, um, you know, they don't have expertise, they are under the gun from management for quotas. You must transfer 150 tapes today or else. And so they're like, and they go, yeah, if there's a problem, whoa, 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 don't tell me if there's a problem. Okay, because you pull that tape and you put a sticker on it and you move on. We need to get this stuff out the door because we've got about 2.3 million tapes in the warehouse here. We've got to get through, okay? So you just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Meanwhile, they're like, but this is Christmas Day. This is someone's birth. I know what the... No, 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 no. Did you not listen to me or else you're fired? That's it. You're fired. Next. That's how this industry works. And that's why it seems affordable. $9 a tape, $7 a tape, $15 a tape. No, my prices start at 30 a tape and go up to hundreds of dollars if there's problems with them, like mold, fixing stuff, all this neglected stuff over the years. So you need to hire somebody that is going to be stopping the tape, cleaning the heads, monitoring, redoing the tape, sometimes two, three times to get perfection, period. Because otherwise, is it worth watching Christmas morning with bars across the screen and the audio going in and out? No, you might as well chuck the tape in the trash and light your money on fire. Um, I do have problem, these stickers here represent, I've already cleaned the heads with a head cleaner, brand new one, and they're still giving me problems. So I, well, they might give me problems. So I put that sticker on there to notify myself, remind myself that I've already had an issue with it. I've done the cleaner. If the problem persists, and now I'm gonna watch these like a mega hawk, and then if it, it craps out again, that means I'm pulling this, and then I'm gonna take the camera to apart and clean the heads on it with isopropyl, check everything out, sound it, and then go from there. Might need the heads replacing, which is a whole different ball game, but, these are what the stickers are, and this is the due diligence that every person transferring videotapes should be going through, but they're not. This, your tapes, people's tapes are old. They've been left in garages, attics, humid conditions, and then people just neglect them and then hand them over, and they're like, oh. And then people with perfect videotapes that have taken very good care of them go, no, 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 my tapes are perfect, so this doesn't apply to me. No, 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 it does, 100%, because first of all, it doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but they can still have problems if they've been stored incorrect or, or, or correctly. Um, because 
there's no Freon in, the, in these particular formats of tapes, mini DV and digital eight. There's no Freon in environmental laws in the nineties. They took it out. So they don't preserve as long. So the tapes flake off and contaminate the heads constantly. So you've got to monitor them. You've got to clean the head, stop it, restart the tape again, blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, uh, where was I going with this? I've had a really strong cup of coffee, if you can't tell already. Um, but yeah, you need to be uh, monitoring this stuff. Nobody monitors it. That's why everybody is getting back crap transfers. That's why everybody, you see these reviews that are atrocious. Um, and why all of these companies that are advertising cheap prices, people are getting sending 40 videotapes off and getting 40 stickers on their tapes. I have videos on all of this, redoing all these jobs. And it's because the employees are under the gun. They've got quotas to meet. you got to transfer 200 tapes today. Go. And then when they put a tape in, I'd say 50% of tapes I put in, I have to spend time with. Rewinding, fixing, me messing with the mechanisms, restarting it a couple times, cleaning the head, putting on a different plugs. It's not perfect. People go, yeah, but I don't, I mean, I don't want perfect. I don't need perfect. When it's with bars across the screen and there's no video coming through or no audio, like what's the point? It's pointless, it's unwatchable. Um, but what's happening now is these companies, Legacy Box, South Tree and Kodak Digitizing, all the same company, they've gone to more egregious steps, which is not only just putting tapes on where it looks like crap, it's because of their players or their staff don't have the time or allowed the time to fix the problem or the equipment. But now they're just putting stickers going, nothing can be done, nothing. So people are sending off 20, 40, 60, 100 tapes, getting back all of them with stickers on them saying they're too far gone. But they've taken your money. I got one guy that's sending in his stuff. It might even be in today. 20 videotapes, 20 stickers, got nothing for his money. Okay, give me my money back. No, he went to his credit card company, did a chargeback. They fought it unbelievably and they won um, and then like, yeah, now that was in January. So he waited six months, got his stuff back. I mean, this is an ordeal for a whole year. He could have spent 1200 bucks with me, but I think he spent 400 bucks with them. So it goes to tell you, would you pay 600 bucks for this problem to go away and have perfect transfers done? Pleasurable experience all over and done with within, you know, two weeks. Um, uh, and well, two weeks, that includes transit. My turnaround times sometimes are like same day depending because my volumes are lower because I'm charging more money and, and I get to spend more time with this stuff, which is required um, to spend more time with this stuff. It, it's not like you're going, oh, I'm paying above and beyond. This is this guy's just ripping me off. No, I'm charging the correct rate to do the job correctly. These guys, you're living in la la land if you think you're going to be getting the quality transfers for 15 bucks a day. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, you get what you pay for. You buy cheap, you buy twice, three times, four times, and then the anguish because this is priceless stuff. So anyway, consumer awareness. I now have, I've gone from telling everybody reviews, YouTube channel, you got to do your due diligence. And now I just, you know, I get so many quote requests in every single day. And I'm like, yeah, it's going to be a thousand bucks to digitize all of your crap. 30 years worth of old crap, I've sight unseen. Like, mm, it's just this guy, they're charging, go. But but what are the reviews? I don't know. You have a phone, check reviews, check content, check uh, comments on ads. You'll see everything right there that you need to see in here, which is shockingly bad. And at this point, it is the consumer's fault because these companies have been around long enough and there's a phone in your pocket and you could check all this stuff within seconds and you know and then go yeah okay that makes sense nope run a mile but people people keep like lemmings just paying them and sending stuff off into the abyss and maybe when they first started doing this there weren't you know not too much consumer awareness about it but now it's everywhere how bad all these companies are and yet people still throw caution to the wind they haven't checked anything with their stuff that they would run back into their house if it was on fire to collect but when it comes to choosing a transfer company all all bets are off and then you're like eh, eh, no i'm not paying that you spend like this guy right here this camera 
This Megabucks in 2006. Megabucks, probably five grand. I don't know. And not to mention all the early 1980s stuff, which was, you know, six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a camcorder. But yet, years later, on a Christmas Day probably cost you four grand more or more with presents, but or your wedding. Wedding videos always crack me up because you paid a videographer three thousand dollars maybe to to video the event, edit it, and give you a disc or a tape. And then the wedding cost, you know, what do weddings cost? Ridiculous. Name your price. 15 grand, 150 grand, 1.5 million. I don't know. But in perspective, when all the dirty crap that quality guys and girls have to do and, and fight to get like a good a, a job where they're being paid for their expertise and time to do all this stuff and everyone's getting squeezed out because of these crappy companies with their false economic numbers. Um, and it just now it's starting to turn, starting to turn on the, you know, I'm going on to the consumer side of things now where I'm like, no, no, no. If I've given you a quote for a thousand bucks and my reviews are insanely perfect and I got videos warning you about everything, you, you still send your stuff off to these companies. You get, you get what you deserve. I mean, come on guys, come on, save your money, save up and then get it done correctly. If it's a lot of money, if you can afford it, I get it. People have got bills. You know, it's life. I get it. But if you've got 50 videotapes, you know, you're the one that shot everything and you've got to, <laughs> you've got to do this right or else you're going to be heart, get heartbreaking results, heartbroken, lost stuff, mixed up stuff, damaged stuff, stuff not transferred, call in an 800 number now, complaining, no one answers the call, no one returns emails. It's just a, an absolute shit show out there. So I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos. I post almost daily and I'm bitching and moaning and ranting about all of this stuff because it is all very fiddly, time consuming work. And yet people are still not willing to pay. Well, they are, my people are, but there are some great people around the country and around the world doing top quality work and they're being priced out because of all this falsy, false $7 tape, 10, 15, all this corporate BS. And they're not appreciating the care and attention to detail that somebody with morals and a heart and a head and skills, and they've been doing this a long time, that they are paying them for their time. Just like they, the customers got their own job, I'm assuming, and they've got, you know, their, their prices for their business. You know, you're a painter, you're a landscaper, you're an IT consultant, you are, you know, whatever you do, you know that there are great people in the industry, in your industry, and then there's crap people. So you command a good price for your quality work, well then pass that on to the, uh, I, I mean, it's same with me. I look up, I got my windows tinted the other day on my car. You know, it's a Tesla Model 3, I spent like 40 grand or whatever the hell on it. And I'm like, no, I'm going with the top rated guy. Yeah, some guy was like, I'll do it for 300 bucks, I'll do it 500. And I picked the most expensive dude with the best result, with the best reviews. And he told me why he charges a lot more. And I was like, yeah, same here, dude, take my money. And he's great. And there was a problem with the tint a few days later, it had some like lines in it. And the guy's like on it, like he's like, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm back on it. Duh, duh. And that's the difference is if there is a problem, they're not disappearing from it. Um, we know all this stuff. We buy stuff every single day and we know in our heart, in our gut, what is right and what is wrong and what's a fair price. So anyway, enough of my ranting to all you guys and girls out there around the world, digitizing videotapes conscientiously with a heart, you know, stick to your guns um, and show why people, why you command a top dollar price because you're spending more time on this stuff. Um, and for those of you out there shopping around for the cheapest possible price, you're gonna get burned. You're gonna get ripped off. It is not, oh, it's a 98% chance. It's 100. It's 100% 100 chance you're gonna get shit back. Anyway, all the best to you guys out there. If you would like me to get give you a quote, uh, gotmemories.com, I am not cheap. I'm reasonable. I mean, you know, don't be scared off like going, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. No, I am reasonable, but I'm living in reality. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you want it done by a pro, top notch, Check the reviews, check all my YouTube videos, and boom, it tells the story right there. All right, cheers.